Hi, I'm Jennifer Dean from Jennifer Dean Wellness and MindBodyBride.com, the Anti-Diet Wedding Wellness Guide. Lately I've been talking a lot about the concept of intuitive eating, both on my blog and with my in-person clients. So intuitive eating takes away our need to diet because it means that we listen to our body and what our body wants and needs to eat, to eat, sorry, and then we give that to our body and we stop when we're full. That's pretty much the, the baseline behind intuitive eating is, are you hungry? Eat. Are you full? Stop. The problem that I notice a lot of women in particular run into is the noticing when you're full and knowing when is the right time to stop. I think what this comes down to is that we're not mindful about how we eat. We might be distracted by watching TV, um, driving, walking, standing up, not even sitting down to a plate, or even if we are sitting at a table, our mind might be elsewhere and we'll eat really, really quickly and then suddenly realize that we've eaten a lot and we're really full, but it's too late. You might notice that when you go out with a friend or with your partner and you have a meal, then you'll, you're sharing really great conversation and you'll just naturally eat more slowly because you'll be paying attention to what they're saying, you'll be replying and you'll be putting down your knife and fork and you'll be chewing and just having little breaks as you eat. You'll probably notice in those situations that you do eat less overall and you are more aware when you're becoming full. So this doesn't happen with most of our meals, unfortunately. But today I'm going to share with you one exercise that you can do at home to start to establish a more mindful pattern of eating. So this exercise is called the Raisin Consciousness Exercise, and it was created by John Kabat-Zinn, who is a leader in mindfulness. I'm going to read out his full title because I thought I might forget. So. He is the creator of the Stress Reduction Clinic and at the Center for Mindfulness in Medicine, Healthcare and Society at the University of Massachusetts Medical School. That was a mouthful, thank you Wikipedia. But I've uh, been doing a lot of reading on the works of John Kabat-Zinn and this particular exercise really stood out for me and I've given it to many of my clients and they've all looked at me kind of quizzically at the beginning but once they have implemented this in their own home, especially when they're snacking, uh, they've noticed some really great results. So before we launch into the exercise, I just want you to pick one meal a day that you might start doing uh, this practice with. So don't commit yourself to doing it for every meal and every snack. Just choose that one meal where you know you don't pay attention um, and maybe that's your afternoon snack when you're distracted and you're just grabbing popcorn by the handful out of the bag. Start with one meal and then as you become more familiar with the practice of paying attention to what you're eating, you'll just naturally start to uh, do this for all of your meals and then the practice of intuitive eating is going to become a lot easier. So. The traditional exercise is done with a raisin, so you can grab a raisin. Uh, I have a strawberry because it's summertime here and I have them in my fridge. So whatever you have, I want something that has a nice texture and that does have a scent. I did it once with a client and an almond and it didn't work out so well. So just grab something and let's get started. So the first thing I want you to do is just hold what you're going to eat. So hold your strawberry, hold your raisin, place it between your thumb and your forefinger. So I want you to look at this food like you've never seen it before. Really examine it and be mindful of, oh, what does it look like? What is the texture of it that I can just see visually? What does it feel like? Is it squishy? Is it hard? So become aware of the food. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to smell it. So bring it up to your nose and just smell. So what this is doing, before we ever digest food through our stomach, we prepare our digestive system and get the stomach acids ready by these other senses coming to life. So you've seen what you're going to eat, you've felt what you're going to eat, now you've smelled what you're going to eat. 
Then the next thing I want you to do, and I'm not gonna do this so I can keep talking, but I want you to place the food in your mouth, but you're not gonna chew it, just hold it there. So once it's in your mouth, try and roll it around on your tongue a little bit. Still don't bite into it yet though. Can you notice any taste just coming through as you move it around your mouth? Can you become aware of a slightly different texture that perhaps you didn't notice in your fingertips? How mindful can you be of how much space this is taking up in your mouth right now? Now I want you to think about biting into the food, but don't do it just yet. Can you notice any sensation in your stomach, just preparing for this food to be eaten? Okay, from here, slowly start to chew, to chew your food. And what I want you to notice is when you really chew, let's think 20, 30, 40 times, the flavor that is released and how the more you chew, the more flavor you're going to taste. So you still haven't swallowed, you're chewing, you're becoming aware of your saliva, you're becoming aware of the taste. Now, the next step is to swallow the food, but I want you to do it mindfully. And as you swallow, pay attention to the journey of the food coming down through your esophagus and coming into your stomach. And can you notice the feeling of that food actually coming into your stomach? And now be mindful of how your body feels. Do you still have taste of the food in your mouth? Are you still hungry? Keep in mind that you've just eaten one more raisin or one strawberry. So in essence, you're more full by one mouthful of food. So I know it might seem a little silly to you, but you might have also noticed that you are so much more aware of the flavor and the act of eating by really slowing down and exploring your food. Now, I'm certainly not saying that every single mouthful has to come with so much deliberation, but what if it did? Imagine if you were eating a meal and before every mouthful, you took time to look at it and you made sure that you were only putting enough in your mouth that could comfortably sit and stay and that you chewed properly and that you became aware of swallowing and gave some thought to the digestive process. And as that swallowing was happening, maybe you even put down your knife and fork or your glass and you take a little break before you start again. So you could pick up another raisin now and repeat the process. What I really want you to take away from this session is that so much of the time we're eating without awareness and we're overeating because we're not satisfied with the, the process of enjoying our food. This exercise challenges the way that you eat by bringing all of your attention to it. And I think that's something that all of us can practice for one meal each day this week. So I'm gonna leave you with a quote from John Kabat-Zinn and I'm gonna add this to the show notes at the bottom. When we taste with attention, even the simplest foods provide a universe of sensory experience, awakening us to them. I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to hearing what you think of the Raisin Consciousness exercise in the comments below.